All right, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the 100th episode of One Man Click TV. So we're doing something special. We're gonna do a mukbang. So if you want to see more of that? Stay tuned. Open your mind to witness a phenomenon, a estilo diferente that can never be compared to none. Boy, your fist of tortillas de harina. Always stay cooking. The studio is my cocina. No mercy when it comes to this music. Everybody say they wreck. Well, they gonna have to prove it. Bit of sweet, cause there's no sugar added. Invested in some chairs, cause these bottles couldn't stand me. Punch lines like celebrities with Federico. A 16 ball verse, the equivalent of a kilo. Dropping EP, cause my albums were too lethal. And what better place to do a mukbang than the crawfish? I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Still fast as fuck, boy. Come get some. <laughs> I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Alright, we ordered the food, so we're gonna wait for it to get here. I ain't gonna tell you what it is until we get here, so stay tuned, alright? Now, before we get any further in this mukbang, I need y'all to do me a favor. Hit like, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you can be notified first when I drop new content, alright? So, I see y'all when the food gets here. Yo, the food's arrived, look at that. Mm. See y'all ain't bullshitting a pound of crawfish. Pound of snow crab. Another pound of snow crab. Two pounds of shrimp. It's about to go down and we still got more coming. Check it out, shrimp fried rice. about to go down. Let's get it going. Now check this out. They gave us these, the seasoning, the butter, and the hot sauce. What you do with this? I'm gonna show y'all right now how to do this right. Butter. You got some of this Cajun seasoning in there. Then you get some of the hot sauce. As much as you'd like. Dip it in there. And then you mix it up. I promise you. You won't regret it. Mmm. This is the perfect sauce you're gonna need for all this. Just go as much as you want on your pre personal preference. Are y'all ready? It's just our crawfish time. Always suck the head out. Now be warned, this is gonna get messy. Peel it out. Boom, pinch that tail. Now let's clean up our spoon and get some of that sauce. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. <clears throat> now this is a hundred episode celebration and we had to do it right. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Now let's get one of these shrimps. This right here, people don't eat it, I do. But like I said, eat it the way you want. Now, this is my first mukbang, so I'm not too sure on how to do all this, but we're gonna do our best. And I'm sipping on the water. 
because I gotta keep it balanced. You know what I mean? Now we're gonna do these crab legs. Mm. Eat these right. Always eat the ends, you know what I mean? Mm. A lot of good meat on here. Now a lot of people don't like eating the crab legs because it's a lot of work, but once you get the hang of it, papitas. Or should I say crabitas? And don't be afraid to use your teeth, your hands, all that stuff. Mm. I'm not afraid to get dirty when it comes to food, so, you know what I'm saying, take that. Take your concoction. Mm. Now, get the water in. <laughs> Suck it all out. Have no fear. And you can even dip your calamari in the same sauce. Mm. Now, a little pro tip that I would recommend to you guys. You see all the crumbs right there? You got your rice. Sprinkle a little bit on there. Okay, because it'll it's a textural exchange, you know what I'm saying? A one. Yo, first question is from the homie DJ Screwhead956 and he asked what time of day is my favorite time to record? And my favorite time of day to record is usually in the morning because the earlier I get started, the fresher I am, fresh ideas. The sooner I get something done, I can be more productive and I could probably get more done throughout the day. So in the morning is usually my favorite time of day to, you know, hit the studio and get creative, whether it's making beats or, you know, recording, writing, whatever. Usually in the morning because I can get more done versus in the afternoon i could get less done you know what i mean but in the morning shout out to dj screwhead 956 uh we follow don't the home you know what i'm saying all over the place you see these are garlic noodles check that out <clears throat> see that whole rice noodles Yo, my second question comes from the homies at the 9.56 ABV podcast. And they asked me, what's my favorite hidden gem restaurant, you know, or place to go eat in the valley? And th that's that's a hard one, but it's always going to have to be Sabores del Golfo. Now, they have a Hardinger location, but they, the one I go to is in San Benito. And the reason I like it, cause you could order fresh, you could order like off the menu, and everything's gonna come out bomb. Or you can hit the buffet that they have on Thursdays and Fridays, and it's all seafood, with a, you know so, some meat options. But mo I mo mainly go for the seafood, you know what I'm saying? So you get caldo, you get fried fish, a couple different ways, shrimp, a couple like a whole bunch of different ways, so, you know everything. Everything I've had there, I have not been disappointed yet. To the sides, everything. So. That is my hidden gem, but not so hidden anymore. But if you guys are in San... Yo, third question comes from the homie Joel Gonzalez. And uh, he asked me, what's my favorite vacation spot and why? And my favorite vacation to date, and I've been to many places, you know what I'm saying? Check out my YouTube channel. I have a, you know, I have a playlist there. We could check out my, all my vacation adventures. But my favorite one out of all of them, I would have to say would be Jamaica. And reason being, I had a great experience overall the food the people 
you know what I'm saying, the beach. Now, the beach was my favorite part because the water was warm, it was clear, the, the sand was soft, you know what I'm saying, and then we had that paired up with drinks, and they had a buffet on the beach, so that, ex you know, Jamaica was a great experience for me. And then on top of that, just the scenery around, we went from a beach to seeing hills, to seeing big mansions and, you know, you know where the people live up in the hills, a uh, lot of vegetation, kind of like a jungle, you know what I'm saying? And then when we went shopping, you know, all the people were nice. They had a lot of different unique things. They even like hand carved and made stuff, you know, specialty for us in front of us. And I even, we even got to try some of the local delicacies there, you know what I'm saying? Some of the local foods and everything was bomb. So nothing disappointed in Jamaica. But I like everywhere I went, but that's one of my favorites. So like I said, you can check that playlist out on my YouTube channel. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to Joel. The next question comes from the OG, the big homie, Pazzi of Real Deep Music. He asked me, what food will I not eat? And if we want to get specific, we can go down to liver. I can't stand liver. I've tried it and I just, I just, I just don't like it. I don't like the texture. I don't like the aftertaste of it. I just don't. But that's just me personally. I even tell you a little story about it. I had a real bad experience about it with it. My mom, but like when I when I would get home from school, my mom would usually have some food on the table or on the stove or whatever. So, you know, because she worked or whatever. But this time she had it. So I thought they were fajitas. So they were fajitas with onions and then she had some fresh flour tortillas there. I don't like bad ass. I'm going to make me a bomb taco and, you know, enjoy this. And this is coming straight out of school, getting hungry and all that stuff. And when I, I fixed it up, badass. I started a munch and when I bit it and I swallowed, I was so disappointed because I was expecting fajita and I got liver. Oh my God. I just, that's just, that's one of the main reasons I don't like it. I just, I had a very bad experience with it the first time. I do not like liver. I'm not really too particular on innards in general, but liver has got to be the one that I, I won't mess with. But yeah, that's one of the foods I will not eat. Shout out to the OG Pazzi, man. Appreciate you. The last question comes from my, my homie, my good friend, Johnny Garcia. And he asked, what was my favorite video experience? And this one is, is also a travel one. But it wasn't like we got off anywhere. It would have to be the Panama Canal. When we went down on vacation and we went through the Panama Canal, we had a, we went in through the, the canal and we came back came back out of the canal. And that was an experience in itself because it took all day and they brought people aboard to sell us stuff, you know, souvenirs and stuff like that. But we got to see the process on how a ship gets into the canal. And then once we got to the other side, we saw all the boats and all the cargo ships waiting to get through. You know what I'm saying? It looked beautiful. And then the vegetation from the jungle and the, you know, what, you know, the, the surrounding areas also looked beautiful the water like everything was a, a a real great experience because we got to see so much in just one area and and we just it wasn't a rush we, was, we could walk around the ship and see everything and see everything we got to see the people that work there we got to see how the you know everybody move around it was it was a dope dope experience that would have to be my favorite you know video experience shout out to the homie johnny garcia appreciate you
This is the aftermath. Look at that. That's the first bowl of rice. Look at all these shells. Look at all that. Damn. Noodles gone. That's the leftovers. Look at all this. Sauce everywhere. And we got this for the homie to go. Look at all that. What a mess. Oh my god. Okay, now I couldn't film too much inside because of the music, but as you, as you heard, I did some voiceovers. It's not over yet, okay? We're gonna chop it up just a little bit more. We gotta get some dessert, okay? But this is the 100th episode, the mukbang. Like I said, my thanks to everybody. I appreciate y'all. I never thought I'd actually do 100 episodes. Never in my mind occurred, but we're here and we're gonna keep on going. But let me get some dessert and I'll stop somewhere and we'll chop it up a little bit more. All right, YouTube, so we're gonna do, we're gonna end it off, but you know, the perfect way to end stuff off is with a donut. But what's better than one donut? Two donut, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get the cream filled and we gotta get the pumpkin spice. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's a celebration today and we're gonna celebrate 100 episodes and many more to come, so. Hmm. I could try to give you as much dialogue as I could in that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got to see me eat. It's not your typical mukbang. I couldn't do too much because of the music inside. And I would like to do some more noises and all that stuff because I know it's a whole big thing. But next time. But let me know if you guys like the mukbang type of thing. If y'all enjoyed it. You know what I'm saying? Type it down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. And like I said, we got a lot more coming. We're still doing savor the flavor we're still doing sneaker adventures and we're still doing cadillac chronicles and we're still doing the music everything's coming along everything's gonna keep going for as long as i can you know what i'm saying as long as y'all keep liking it and all that stuff i'm gonna keep bringing it we're so close to 500 subscribers so if you're not subscribed do me a favor and subscribe to the channel hit that like button and smash that notification bell so you can be notified first when i drop new content follow me on all social media links in the description Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all that stuff. And you can follow me on Instagram right here where I am most active. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to everybody that answered the question, that, you know, asked me a question. I appreciate y'all's support, man. I'm gonna answer it. I answered everything as best as I could, so. And if y'all didn't get to ask me a question this time around, have no fear, I will do more in the future. So stay tuned, stay posted to my social medias because that's where you're going to find out about the questions and, and all that stuff. So stay tuned, stay posted. Make sure you follow me on all social media platforms. And uh, appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. All those who continue to support your boy, who watch the videos, like the videos, share the videos, all that good stuff, man. I appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart, man. And I got a lot more coming and I got merch coming too. So stay tuned. I'm gonna get back to these and continue the rest of the day. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Let me know how y'all enjoyed the mukbang. Like I said, feedback is necessary in the comments below. Make sure you share this and I appreciate y'all man for y'all's continued support. Shout out to all the supporters, all the people that ask questions. Uh, as, for, as always man, salute. Till next time, this is the One Man Click and this is One Man Click TV.